Hi, I'm Afsha. I've been working in the fashion industry for about five years. Um, some of the previous companies that I've worked for include Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, and Coldwater Creek. Um, I come from a very technical design background. Um, I was first introduced to V-Stitcher um, when I first started my career and I really fell in love with the program. I felt like it took my creativity to a new level. So today I'm going to be showing you some tips when simulating animations in vStitcher. Uh, I chose these tips because I get asked about animating a lot from other users and I think people don't realize just how easy it is to use the animation workspace in vStitcher. Um, so I want to show you how user friendly it is and how you can bring your designs to life. So a very important note is that if I want my avatar to wear heels for the animation, I need to prep her for heels before moving to the animation workspace. Um, so I'm putting her into edit mode and I'm going to raise her heels so I can dress some high heels on her. And then I want to rename her and hit save as. So I can now reload the old snapshot with the old avatar and then easily switch it out with the new one by double clicking on the new one. Now I can go to the closet and put my heels on her. You might be asked to redress the garment, which is okay. Um, I will let it finish dressing and resave my snapshot with the new avatar. And then I'm ready to move into the animation workspace. You have some walking animations available in vStitcher, um, but if you want something different, you can download the FBX file of Oliver and Olivia to use with Mixamo. Those are available in this article, and you can also find this video that walks you through these steps. So the link to download is right here, and you just download a zip file that contains both the FBX files for Oliver and Olivia. Then I can go to Mixamo, which is free to use. You just need to sign up for it and upload my FBX file of Olivia. It will ask you to place some markers on her for the auto rig and if everything looks okay um, you can move on to selecting a pre-made animation to apply to her. And Mixamo has various options. You can search by um, female animations or you can search by dance animations. So I think I'm going to select this one. Uh, another important note is if you have a garment with very wide sleeves, you might want to adjust the avatar's arm space so that there is no collision issues with the sleeves and the avatar's body. And once everything looks good, download the FBX file and import it into your vStitcher. Another important note is that it will import two files in. One is a preview file and the other one is the full animation. And you want to select the one that has Mixamo.com in the name to get the full animation clip. Dress the garment so that the avatar moves into the first frame pose um, and make sure everything's looking okay. Once it finishes dressing, your record button will light up and you can start recording the simulation. You can pause at any moment um, in case you see some colliding that you might want to style and fix before continuing the recording. And once it's done recording, you can play through it to make sure it looks okay. You have various 2D export options such as MP4, GIF, or image sequence, or 3D export options that will let you bring the animation into another 3D program like Blender. For Blender, I usually select the OBJ plus MDD option, which provides me with the material files, and the MDD, which holds the animation, and the OBJ. Um, so there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy using uh, these tips in your workflow when animating in vStitcher.